Michelle Witten Wilson, better known as the Algiers Diamond, and I am here hosting the No More Chains Red Carpet. I think this is a documentary that the world should see. I know men and women will enjoy it. I think that the honest unfolding, the transparency in this film is remarkable. I enjoyed it so much. Um, I think it needs to be in the festivals, it needs to do the festival route. I think HBO, I think Showtime would love this film. It's just phenomenal. I had no idea what to expect, but I'm so happy I came here. It's very touching. It also encouraged me, as it did many people. And I'd like to see more of these types of productions, um, you know, throughout the community. I think it's a very telling story. Very so bizarre. even though the story was told by women, you, as a male, could relate it, it, to it. It touches everybody. Women bring into life crises that people go through every day, but they just keep it under suppression. They never say anything about it. So to be able to bring it out and to express it that so many people live through, it's wonderful. I read the book, so I had to come out and look at the film, and it's awesome. And it's also made me um, aware of some changes I need to make in my own life. It was really eye-opening made you kind of look at yourself and see what things you need to change. By the end of it, and they were up, you know, sharing in the um, front of the theater, I actually wanted to stand up and thank them because as I was watching it, each story, there was a part of me that was them. Well, I think one of the most powerful things is hearing people's stories and what they've been through and where they've come, where they've come from, just overcoming your fears and understanding that fear never goes away. You just got to learn how to deal with it and keep moving and keep moving and just doing things afraid. Oh my God, it was so, it was so good. Like it was so good. Like we were about to. Like we were it, was, there, like, it was amazing. Yeah. There were several uh, scenes in the movie where I just wanted to jump up and start screaming because like, it was just amazing. It was very passionate. It was very just just very the way honest, very yeah. transparent. Like it was just inspiring. It was like wow. <laughs> This production is, is really big and it's beautiful to see um, a dream uh, be inspired and then brought to life. Just watching women evolve and push past pain and traumatic experiences is going to really blow your mind. My story started from when I was really young, so I'm hoping to reach a young girl that's really going through and maybe she can say, hey, if she made it, I can make it too. You came to tear up and shred the carpet tonight. You look absolutely beautiful. My testimony is being told for the first time on the big screen and, and it's just, I'm just in awe. The expectation is, uh, I believe, a transformation. Do you have anything to say to Ari? I just wanna say, you know, she's she's my 2016, 17 Harriet Tubman. Give us a little shimmy first, yes! There are different stories that I believe everybody will be able to relate to, not just women. When it came to this documentary, it was basically like, you know what, she trusted me with the vision, and I'm glad, and I'm happy, and I'm so thankful that I did a good job. How many chains are you releasing? So many chains. So many, so many chains. chains. Every time I talk about Ari, it's never, a surprise, like I'm so grateful for everything that she's been in my life. I really adore her and I really just appreciate her giving me the opportunity to be a part of her project, to share her story and inspire young women like myself. As good as I look, I actually grew up with two parents who were incarcerated and on drugs. Wow. Yeah, so my chain, the one I told in the book, because <laughs> I've had plenty, was me really releasing that bitterness, that anger, that rage toward them for all of the things I had to endure. Is this exciting being on a red carpet? Yes. yes. It's so amazing. Let me let me see a little. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> My heart is racing fast because I can't believe this is happening. And I'm just happy that this dream has finally came to life. I'm happy to see what this film is going to do to the lives of men and women who, who watch. I hope that it takes them into some sort of action to do the things that they want to do. That's my, that's my hope, that's my purpose for this whole movement. I felt that it was important to show a variety of different traumas so that you'll see in your own life, no matter what you've been through, you too can overcome the odds. You too can overcome that. So it was important that I not, it's not about just me, it's about everybody. It is a blessing to be able to see another sisterpreneur really making it and making a difference with a movement, you know, not just 
an idea and a thought, but an actual movement. So this is amazing. So I had to fly in and come to support her. Okay, where you flowing from? Uh, Dallas, Texas. As the title is called, No More Chains Holding Them Down, Moving Forth, Breaking Barriers. I'm most excited for, for how she's um, inspiring women to succeed in their business, to step out on faith and just take charge of what they want to do in their dreams in their life. Miss Ari Squires. Where's she at? Where's she at? Where's she at? Where's she at? Come on, get up on your feet. <laughs> Let's give it up one more time just for the ladies in the store. Woo! I cannot and will not move any further without introducing Mr. James Wader. This man is only 25 years old. Y'all hear me? 25. Self-taught. This is his gift. Yes, it is. He is operating in his gift. I so I get blessed with the opportunity to work with Ari. If, if somebody act honestly trust me with their vision. And just being here today and seeing all the love and support that y'all showing us for this documentary, man, it's, it's just confirmation that I'm doing something right. Amen. 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 I wanted to, when I interviewed every single one of these women, I wanted to make sure that this was their first time sharing their story. Because I wanted it to be authentic, I wanted it to be raw, I wanted it to be real. Ah! Ah! We did it, y'all! We did it! <laughs> ah! No more! Now everybody's seen your mess on the big screen. You can't go back to that woman anymore. Amen. Yeah. I'm, I will be a battalion chief in 2017. Yeah, and I thank God the next month, this time, I will be a battalion yeah. chief in all of Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Last week was the Pan African Film Festival. And we must have gone to about maybe six or seven huge screenings there, as well as the opening night film. What I can tell you is this this should have been the opening night film. Woo! To be a person who is faithful enough to be moved by the Spirit of God, to allow all of these other women, to allow their voices to be heard. In this, I am so glad that you are allowed your chain to be yanked. Yes. So you can help other people to release their chain. Just to say thank you and that we love you. So our frame here at the top says, we are free. Tribute to Harriet, No More Chains 2017, yes. just for you. Harriet Tubman, just to be clear. How many of you guys would like to see this movement go worldwide? Don't you think this can affect and change lives worldwide? Thank you so much, and I uh, truly am inspired by each and every one of you. I know most of you may not even recognize that things are not happening to you, but they're happening through you. But I want to uh, congratulate Ari and all the women who were in this amazing, amazing film. I mean, it talked to me. I have to, it makes me want to pour into more younger women because now there's a, my accent's about to come out, a feminine <laughs> movement that is happening and momentum that a lot of young women and ladies need to hear these testimonies because that's exactly what they are. They are testimonies, living testimonies. And ladies, I just want to congratulate you. I just want to honor you. And I want to uh, say thank you for sharing that because I know it took a lot of courage. Um, I definitely want to be a part of the movement because it's such a strong, profound movement that needs to be International. We are gonna break the chains, everybody. Everybody say break the chains. 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 Who change its circumstance? So oh, I, I didn't know which way to go. Had no hope to go on. Change my song, yeah. And now I persevered. I've made it very clear. I can win, take or thin, and I'll do it again if I have to. Yeah. And my life is right on track. And I can't be
moving. Also thought it was very um, admirable of Ari to have a dream, to have a dream and then execute it. So many African Americans say what they want to do, but never do what they want to do. So take that, the biggest example was that, her having a dream and doing it. How are you feeling, Miss Ari? I feel wonderful, like I am relieved, I am. I'm hearing people saying that they're releasing chains and they're empowered, and that's what I wanted. That was the mission, so I feel incredible. I feel incredible.